Okay. Okay, looks like first player is going to be relaying with Shin Makaroon. Oh, yeah, my promotion. Spent too much time editing webs and videos. Like I'm not supposed to be able to see any cards. Okay. Machine moving forward. Only one space. A pass. It was. That's interesting. So, but almost signals sophism. I feel like if you move forward twice, you would be hard hard expecting sophism next turn. And you just have to always expect to be hit by it once on the approach, though. Not necessarily. You can also just make it awkward for them to hold it by not moving forward, but. If with getting rid of uh, two of his aura with stunt makes it even easier for him to uh, quickly try and dart through sophism. If he had his uh, move forward reaction, that would also potentially let him do that. But see, he's got six action points now, and he needs to move forward at five spaces. So I think that's possible. Five spaces if he had the reaction, which maybe is not so possible. Considering going on. What? I'm confused about what I just saw. Um, well, Roaring, we just played to finish the opponent and grant vigor, and then the vigor was immediately spent to recover those tokens. Uh, I see, I see. Why you would do that, though, if you were running black box? I guess that's another point too. It doesn't matter nearly as much if you get hit by Sophism when your deck is already gone. So stalling for one turn is a good play there too. Leech. Uh, 
Calling this is extremely risky. He wasn't in range, so he did a quick adjustment there. Does that cancel? A lot of moving parts over on Jay's side. What is this? <laughs> okay, well, I think the one two now. Can't afford to call it, so it takes one aura. Not a really steep price. Playing the one two. Playing the one two. Like a amorphous misbane that costs four times as much and research. Good to know that Amorphous Mistbane is a real metric in the game. <laughs> but Chicago's other three specials don't really get talked about, but Amorphous Mistbane is just nice. I mean, Grim Path is pretty defining, also. There's just not a lot of comparison between that and anything other characters have. Sure. When was the last time you saw that actually win a game? Um, I've only seen Shen use it to win, but he's used it multiple times. Yeah. It takes, it takes a fair bit of setup, but if you know what you're doing, it works quite well. So what got sealed there? Uh, no more redact. Yeah, basically, if you are playing against Chikage and you don't know if they're running Grim Path and you play Muscle Relaxant, if they're running Grim Path, you just lose, generally, if they have the, the flair they need. If you play Muscle Relaxant, the next turn they Grim Path then your next turn you can't attack them. Then their next turn they will move up to out of your range and play the uh, enhancement that makes it so you can't back up. Yep. And then you're done. It is very timing dependent though, because if memory serves me rightly, um, it ends if you take any damage, including reshuffling the deck. Yes. So you reshuffle before you play the uh, the first thing, um, the Grim Path, while the opponent has Muscle Relax now. Cool. So you see your opponent play Muscle Relax and then you reshuffle. Yep. Orochar doing a little bit of work. This is interesting because Renry has the option of counter sealing here. The only thing on the pile right now is Cyclone Blade. And it's not right now, but it'll be next turn. So Erling has an opportunity to reshuffle if he doesn't want his Cyclone Blade to get sealed.
The initial roaring where he burned two tokens and then recovered his tokens almost feels like a mind game now. Kind of like make Erlang think he's not running Black Box. In fact, I think Black Box is just going to uh, be Naga form this game. To completely sap Erlang's or Flare and keep him from doing using for the nature. And I am juggling words in my mouth right now. All right. So Erling decides to reshuffle to prevent Jay from sealing one of his cards. Let's see how the timing looks on this. Oh, it's not great. Theoretically, Jay could use the uh, the Shake the Mind to get a free reshuffle on his next turn, but that would mean taking a turn where he draws one card and or damage. Looks like that is not being opted for. Okay, waving edge. So on Erling side, you need to be worried about shield charge here. Generally, I like to take three ones to life anyway, but might be especially right in this case. Because you're probably opening Proves of Nature next turn anyway. Although I'm sure he would rather have Eloquence in hand before he started it. Might draw it next turn, though, we'll see. If he doesn't draw it and Jay can then black box. Yeah, if he doesn't if he doesn't use prove next turn, he is getting black box out of his mind. He, he loses the game for sure. Did he call it? Or did did Jay just reveal it for Oh, he called it. No, he didn't call it. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay, yeah, he didn't call it, so he just burned his two aura. No eloquence. That's still two life damage, and Frostbite doesn't really matter too much. You can Rhyme Thorn, Blade Dance, maybe? No, that's not too great either. Alright, so it looks like Ling is. Got to prove right now. Is he, still, he feels like it's too early. Oh, uh, yeah, but if you don't, you get black box and you lose that window. Yeah, then you lose four flare and you have no aura, so you're not coming back into this game. If he plays Rhyme Thorn and Frostbite, you filled it up and then you can play Blade Dance. That's still a pretty good attack. He has to get out to range four to do Blade Dance, know. though.
He probably wants to wait till he draws eloquence, and then he's going to reshuffle with eloquence in his hand, then try to do. But of course, getting black box before then. He must not think black box is actually on the table. He doesn't approve this turn. Maybe that roaring play on the advance uh, mind game actually paid off. Maybe. They are also both in voice chat with each other, so it's possible that there's other stuff going on from them talking to each other. Okay, it's still Erling's turn. Deciding his fate. It is definitely a gamble to go prove this early also, right? So he's got one card left in his deck that might be Eloquence. Unless he discarded it earlier and I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, it looks like he's going for prove this turn. Surely. So that means he has two life damage next turn. Which will all but even the game out. And then... And then he reshuffles everything, draws two cards, can get at most two more enhancements for another two life damage. And if one of those is eloquence, then it's looking pretty strong for him. Yeah, Jay actually has no play here but except for black box. And the black box options are not amazing right now. Although Naga might still be, mm, it might still be good enough. No, probably not, because even if he burns the cards off the top, Erling's got got a uh, life advantage ish now with the uh, life tokens he gets back from Prove the Nature. So the Naga milling probably won't matter because you can just reshuffle and chance into the uh, enhancements he needs. So uh, he passed without taking his transform. Oh, he didn't have the flare. Oh no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's uh, very regrettable. <laughs> Oh Black no! Box. Black box cost two flare. He had no flare though. Oh right, because well, he just... threw out the uh, four there. Yeah, I didn't even need. I didn't even notice that. I feel pretty dumb myself. Okay. Yeah, this game's over. <laughs>